So you're thinking about moving to the Ann Arbor or Dexter area. Well, in this video, we're gonna give you a tour of this old historic home behind us, as well as downtown Dexter. And we're gonna do all that starting right now. Hey guys, my name is Matt Talbot. My team and I help people just like you every single day move here to the Ann Arbor, Dexter, and Southeast Michigan communities every single day. We get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every single day that want to move to the area, and we absolutely live for it. If you're thinking about moving to town, please send us a DM, comment below, or comment in the Calendly link for more information about moving to the area. So in this video, we want to keep it very casual and give you a tour of this awesome home that I have the opportunity to list behind me here in Dexter, Michigan. So we're in downtown. Downtown Dexter, only a block from Main Street, an absolute impossible location, and this home will be listed in the low $500,000. It's a old Victorian house, so Dexter, a lot of the surrounding communities, they date back to the 1800s, and some of uh, some of these houses are even older than that and stuff like that. This is an early 1900s, late 1800s build, so this house has been here for a very, very long time. There's a lot of unique features, so we want to give you a tour of this house, kind of what the price point allows for this type of build, this type of old uh, Victorian old historic house and as well as uh, showing you the home we want to jump to downtown Dexter as well too we'll show you Main Street kind of what it's like to live in this area what it's like to be in downtown Dexter so we're gonna jump right inside uh, actually as you can see to start outside is a beautiful old stone porch which is super awesome wraps around um, original foyer here two double doors I'm gonna shut this because it's a little warm out today and we've been letting out the air for a while now here so awesome house there's tons of natural light in this main room they have this set up as their main living space you know huge windows obviously really old trees as well too here in this house excuse me um, old original wood floors throughout as well too which is a really really cool feature as well as some of the old trim work um, this staircase although it looks older has been recently redone to match the original look um, at one point this home was actually converted into a duplex and so they converted it back which is a pretty cool feature Carrying on here, this is going to be your formal dining room, right? So good size dining room, um, good layout as well too. I love the chandelier, matches the vibe. Um, there's also a first floor bedroom, which could be your primary, with a shared bathroom as well too. So again, checking out the flooring. Another thing that I love about this house is the original floorboards. So you get the bigger floorboard, um, which is cool from way back in the day, as well as a lot of the original uh, wood trim as well throughout. Attached on suite bathroom there that's also for your guests um, on this side the way they convert it through the years and here is your kitchen swinging doors so kitchens weren't as big back in the day if you really wanted to completely renovate this place you could probably take down this wall put up a beam and stuff like that but um, this is going to be the kitchen in this home there's a really cool back here I don't know which way to take you first we'll take you this way for fun so check out these stairs before we take you up the, the Harry Potter stairs as I call them sometimes so when I'm whenever I talk about these weird spaces it's almost like a Harry Potter look but you go up this back way here this is an addition they recently did Mike hates it when I talk when we're walking upstairs because it's just not a good, not a good look. He doesn't exactly like looking at my butt. So um, anyway, so this is a recent renovation they did. They turned it into a bedroom currently set up for a yoga studio. So again, these old Victorian houses are really cool because through the years as you renovate them, you can kind of squeeze in these different nooks and crannies throughout to add additional square footage. So this one sits above the kitchen, wasn't finished before. Um, they had recently renovated, so it's a really cool room. So we walked downstairs, we're filming again here, uh, again by the front door, we walked around because it's kind of a, a weird space, it does connect, but walking upstairs real quick, I will talk, stop talking for this so Mike doesn't have to hear me. <laughs> okay, so at the top of the stairs here, um, one bedroom, good size walk-in closet, again a lot of the original old features, original door on here. Um, all the windows have been replaced through the years. I love the flooring, I think it's super cool and super unique um, on this Victorian house. Good layout as well too. Some people might eventually renovate this and kind of open things up here due to the second kitchen upstairs, but this is not formally a bedroom because there's no closet in here, but another good office space. And again, just some good character, right? It's hard to find houses like this with you know plaster ceilings and a lot of the original floors and doors and stuff like that. So um, it's a really cool feature. Uh, Moving on, like I said, at one point this was a duplex, so they had an additional kitchen. I'm assuming that someone's most likely gonna take down this wall and do one big primary suite. Um, 
and then have upstairs as like an in-law suite or a kid's area or what have you because there's a whole primary upstairs as well too. Third bedroom or fourth bedroom, two walk-in closets. Um, they did a little bit of updating as well too. They added the uh, aesthetic wall here to, to add a little bit more flavor. I love how she has it decorated in here. Um, really good setup. First, uh, I'm sorry, second floor bathroom here. Uh, over to your left, Mike. And like I said, it was a duplex at one point, so some of this is probably most likely gonna be re-renovated. So what you see in a lot of these old homes is they change throughout the years, lots of different owners. And so in this case, she actually bought this house that was a duplex and turned it back into a single family house, which is really cool. It's a heck of a project to take on for, um, for any buyer and stuff like that. So she's done a lot of renovations and slowly got it back to this point through, this year, through the years while keeping a lot of the character. So it's a tough move, but people are able to do that. I believe the next buyer, we're going uh, live to list it in a couple weeks here I believe the next buyer most likely will take what has been done and take it to another level as far as renovations and stuff like that so hopefully they keep a lot of the historic value and a lot of the fun nuances throughout as they do that but I believe that will happen next so this was the yoga room um, but this is the back way up steep stairs because a very rare find but a lot of homes throughout Southeast Michigan do not have three stories. It's very, very rare throughout Southeast Michigan to have a three-story home. Actually, a lot of the construction in most cities and townships and stuff like that don't even really allow for it due to the building requirements and stuff like that. So here you have a great, huge primary suite throughout. It's a huge space. Obviously, they have it set up and staged for a bed with a complete ensuite here. So third floor, really rare find. So up next will be the garage. I really wanna show you this garage because I haven't seen anything like it probably in my entire career to some extent being such in such a downtown area. So we'll jump into the garage, then from there we'll go downtown, we'll show you a little bit about Main Street, show you downtown Dexter, what the vibe is in Dexter. So if you're moving from out of town, you get a feel for this town and if it's for you or not. So quick pit stop, we wanted to come in the basement to show you what an old Michigan basement looks like. So you have old cobblestone throughout and this is the main living space that has been filled in and cemented over through the years for structural reasons. You know, it's always good to do a formal inspection on a house like this, making sure that you understand the structural integrity. It's a very, very old house, okay? And so coming up the stairs here, obviously, this is the old cobblestone that's been covered up. And then you see the addition, which is your block. Um, obviously new wiring throughout the entire house. So this is a great feature when the wiring has been redone in some of these old houses. So when you're looking at old Victorian houses, when you're looking at historic houses, you really have to dive in to some of the nooks and crannies. It's not always like, ooh, this is a cool project. You know, let's jump right in. You wanna understand what's been done. Has the plumbing been done? Has the electric been done? What's been done through the years? Um, and how is that layout? So you have a lot of you know, weird additions and crawl spaces and stuff like that in these old homes, just part of the gig as the years go on. People do additions and the homes change throughout. So you have to really understand what that looks like, dive into it, have an agent and inspector that's very well versed in this type of property so you can really understand uh, the nuances of old, owning this old type of house. So anyone purchasing this house, a lot of people like old homes, but I think we always recommend for our buyers is to have the right buyer that deserves the home, that really wants to put in the love and attention into these types of houses, okay? Any house, there's preventative maintenance, right? There's TLC, there's love and care. I call homes living, breathing things, right? The wood changes, the materials are all um, natural materials through the years, right? And so they expand and contract. There's a lot of things happening in houses. And so there's always TLC, but definitely when you're talking about a home that's 100 plus years old, there's a lot of stuff to take care of. It's something that you truly have to love and care for in order to keep that integrity and to keep it in the condition that it is. So I wanted to stop down here, but again, I want to show you the basement and stay tuned for the end because we're going to check out downtown Dexter. Additionally, if you like this video, if videos like this provide value to you, please hit subscribe and tap for notifications. We love to create more content to be able to share with our community and continue to grow. Also, if you have any comments or questions or other areas you want to explore, comment those below and we'll be sure to pay attention. All ears will be wide open to those messages. Okay, so in the backyard, good size backyard, great size lot, it's a corner lot here, and you're only a block from Main Street and Dexter, like I said, we'll go check out that in a minute. So fantastic location to be walking distance, so super, super rare find to have the ability to have, you know, this square footage close to 3,000 square feet, plus walking distance to town, plus a nice yard, all that stuff. And then this is my favorite part of this entire house, this thing behind me. So this is a giant garage that was added years ago. I call it about five car, it could be six car, 
car could be four plus however you want to look at it but to me this is a guy's dream it could be um, turned into so many different possibilities um, obviously it's, it's it's partially finished with the drywall and stuff like that there's electricity out here it would be super easy to add some more HVAC some air conditioning some heat turn this into so many different possibilities car people would absolutely love this I think you could get five cars in here um, if you're smart with it but um, the height in here I don't know it's at least 10 feet if not 11 foot ceilings um, obviously recessed lighting throughout and so my head goes to so many places like as is total great time I would sit out here with the beer and the the pool table and the ping pong table and have uh, fun with all my friends um, day in and day out. That, that being said, if you were to finish out here, it would be really cool. I can imagine a golf simulator. I'm a big golfer setting that up in here. There's so much space for it and still having room for you know your car and storage as well too. The other side continues on. Like This place is huge. It's all blocks, so it's very solid, very deep tall ceilings like I said this is such a hard find guys so it's a really really unique house so it's a tough find but again these old historic homes are gonna have some fun features throughout and this one just happens to have a massive garage space so I um, wanted to show you this I think it's super awesome it's great man cave great for uh, entertaining if you want to go that route or even as a more formal finished space could be potentially an in-law space if you did it properly and the city would let you get away with it so really cool feature in my opinion up next downtown Dexter so sitting on your back porch front porch in the garage what have you there's churches all the way down 4th Street here so you literally hear the church bells so it's a really cool feeling this like really old town small town vibe with the church bells going on it's just very peaceful and quiet the giant trees that's really the feel of a city like Dexter and actually living in the city itself of Dexter and not out in the sticks on 30 acres or anything like that but being in the city here is super cool so we'll go ahead and show you downtown Okay guys, we're in downtown Dexter. Uh, Ann Arbor Street's right here. It actually turns into Main Street right in here. And behind me, it says Dexter's Farmer's Market. So Dexter is known to having a fantastic farmer's market. It's so good that they do it on Saturdays and Tuesdays through October. So really cool vibe during the farmer's market to come out here. Um, we're right downtown, so we'll go for a little stroll, kind of show you around um, right next to Dairy Queen. Um, Aubrey's Pizza is a local pizza joint. There's several of them in the general Ann Arbor metro area. There's one in Ipsy. Um, there's another one um, on this part of town. They're, they're scattered throughout the, the, uh, throughout the general Ann Arbor community, so a good pizza spot as well, too. The Beer Grotto is right next door, so we'll show you what downtown Dexter has to offer. So I should do some research on this, or Mike, do some research on this, see if you can find out. I mean, it makes sense, right? Every like small town has to have a clock tower, but like there's gotta be some more significance other than like you met at that part of town or you could see what time it was back in the day when everyone didn't have watches maybe. What is the reasoning for this? But every small town in Michigan, every small town across the country that I go to has a clock tower right downtown. But this is sort of like the center of town, your broad and main street. So um, there's a lot of shops and restaurants and stuff up this way. You know, obviously more down this way. We'll continue on our walk. I wanna show you the river too. It's really cool river walk. So really fun downtown area. All the people walking by are all smiles and good vibes and waves. Everyone's really cool. So this is sort of that small town vibe here in the Ann Arbor community and the Dexter community and really throughout Southeast Michigan. So lots of old brick buildings, really old features. You know, we're standing on an updated uh, brick paver sidewalk and stuff like that as well too. But a lot of character, uh, just a real good small town vibe. Tons of shopping, tons of restaurants. There's a coffee shop across the street. A lot of other, you know, pizza places and kitchens and restaurants and uh, breakfast places as well too. So good part of town. The bakery um, right here, Dexter Bakery is the spot. So this spot is super good, fantastic. Highly recommended if you're in town. Check out Dexter Bakery. It's called Inner Conflict. Do I look like it? Inner conflict, story of my life, inner conflict. Across the street here, Dexter's Pub, 
Dexter's Creamery. You can get your black belt over there, martial arts studios. Uh, and one of the things that I love, we're only like a block away from the river, which has a cool river walk. I want to take you down there and just kind of show you the, the vibe. If you want to take the dog for a walk, the kids for a walk, you know, check out stuff. They close downtown uh, for different events throughout the year. Like I said, the farmer's market is a big one, but they do different things as well here in Dexter. There's some other really fun streets as well too, but I want to at least show you Main Street to sort of get what the vibe is and we'll take you down to the river. Frederick Pelham was born on November 7th, 1864. He attended school in Detroit and in 1887, he became the first African-American to receive an engineering degree from the University of Michigan in Ann Arbor and was hired as a civil engineer for Michigan Central Railroad Company. Frederick is known for his design and construction of 20 railroad bridges. Sounds like this one over here was his back in the day. This is the 1800s, really like, I mean, it's the late 1800s, mid to late 1800s. This is not like 1899. He was born in 1864 and was doing this stuff in 1887. So like I said, old town, old vibes. Uh, uh, the cool history of the house we showed you is an awesome uh, representation of a lot of what Southeast Michigan has to offer. You of course have downtown Detroit. You of course have the city of Ann Arbor, right? These big cities, but you know, throughout the Detroit metropolitan area, there's a lot of farmland. There's a lot of these small towns that are scattered not only throughout Southeast Michigan, but really scattered throughout Michigan. And so it's cool to understand the history and lean into it a little bit and learn a little bit more. It's part of the reasons why I love this job. It's part of the reasons why I love showing people around town, learning about Southeast Michigan. I'm born and raised here. I absolutely love it. And so it's cool to find out more information. Real quick, Mike, you got to get in here. Sometimes you got to stop and smell the flowers, you know? Come on, get your nose in there. Let's, let's get, get, get smell, not the camera. Just get your nose in there. That's what I'm talking about. All right. All right, guys, downtown Dexter, an old, cool, historic home here in Dexter at a mid 500 price point. Tour of downtown Dexter showing you what the Ann Arbor Metro Dexter community is all about and a little bit more about what we have to offer here in Southeast Michigan. If you're thinking about moving to the area or you just want more information about here in Southeast Michigan, please comment below, send us a direct message, make sure to hit that follow button because we'd love to provide some more content for you, some more information for you to continue these videos and provide value for you back home. Thanks so much for tuning in.